Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use a DHT11 sensor with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. What I have here is a DHT11 sensor module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. DHT11 sensor provides temperature and humidity readings. It has three pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, and S for the signal pin. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board to serve as the brain for the experiment, an ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers, for easy circuit connection. A 3-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires to attach the DHT11 sensor to the ESP32 shield. And of course, the DHT11 sensor module itself. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I attach the DuPont jumper wires to the DHT11 sensor by following a color coding which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, and yellow for the signal pin. While the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers which is black to black, red to red, and yellow to yellow pin headers. For this experiment, I choose GPIO23 to serve as input pin from the DHT11 sensor. Now for the software part, I prepared here three example source code for this demonstration. Now for example number one, let me click the run button to execute it. And let's discuss how we can use a DHT11 sensor module with ESP32 using MicroPython. MicroPython has a built-in library for DHT sensors, so we don't need to use any external library. Now to use a DHT sensor, just import the DHT11 from the DHT module. Also import the pin class from machine module in order to access ESP32 pins. To begin with, create a DHT11 object named D which is connected to GPIO23. And to read temperature and humidity, we need to tell the DHT sensor to take a measurement by calling the measure method. Let me copy this one and let me paste it in the REPL. I will hit enter. After that, we can ask the DHT sensor to give us the temperature reading by calling the temperature method. Let me copy this one and paste it in the REPL. I will hit enter. And as you can see, the current temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, which works the same for the humidity readings by calling the humidity method. Let me copy this one and paste it in the REPL. Hit enter. And the humidity is 58%. And before asking again the DHT sensor for temperature and humidity readings, you need to call the measure method again in order to update its data readings. Let me click the stop button to terminate example number one. Now for example number two, let me attach the 16 by 2 LCD module to ESP32 and let's display the DHT sensor readings in here. I'm done attaching the 16x2 LCD module and I use GPIO21 for the SDA pin and GPIO22 for the SCL pin. Let me select example number 2 and let me click the run button to execute it. By the way, in order to use this LCD, be sure to watch video 008 of this playlist which demonstrates how to import LCD libraries in ESP32 
MicroPython root directory. Now this line of code clears the current display of the LCD and prints this string of characters. Notice that there are no temperature and humidity readings here. This is because I want to update the temperature and humidity values in the main loop, as you can see here. In this way, we avoid using unnecessary printing the whole display and only just update the values. In programming jargon, it is called code efficiency. I will click the stop button to terminate example number two. Now for example number three, let us see how we can use the DHT sensor for something useful. In this code, when a certain temperature is reached, an alert message will be sent in the REPL, which you can change to something such as visual alarm using an LED or an audible alarm using a buzzer or send an alert message through SMS or online. Let me click the run button to execute example number three. I configured the program to send an alert message when a temperature is greater than or equal to 30 degrees Celsius. I also put a counter so that we can determine how long it stays in alert mode. Now for the demonstration, I have here a lighter and we will try to reach 30 degrees Celsius. I will a little bit light it up. And let's see if we can reach 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, as you can see, in the REPL, it's sending an alert message. And it should stop when it is able to move back below 30 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video. A tech to tinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.